Assalamu alaikum grade 6 how are you my dear students today inshallah we will continue in unit 16 probability lesson 16.3 mutually exclusive outcomes you can follow this in your course book page 156 our objectives today to find mutually exclusive events and to find missing probabilities of mutually exclusive events now let's start together i want from you to answer these questions the first question what is the probability of getting a five when you roll a dice can anyone answer this question excellent it's one out of six number two what is the probability of getting a tail when you toss a coin can anyone tell me excellent it's half last question what is the probability of picking a blue ball when there are two blue balls and three green balls in a bag? Yes, who wants to answer this question? Excellent, it's two out of five. When figuring out the probability of two or more events happening, we don't just have to look at the chances as determined by a coin toss or die throw. Instead, we have to figure out if the multiple events can even happen if one of the events occurs. We are talking about mutually exclusive events. What does mutually exclusive mean? Mutually exclusive means cannot happen at the same time. So, mutually exclusive events are events that cannot happen at the same time. For example, turning left and turning right, or going to Liverpool at 9 p.m. to uh, sorry 9 a.m. tomorrow and going to Manchester at 9 a.m. tomorrow. In this lesson, we will look at some examples of both mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclusive events, as well as how each affects probability. We have this the first example. A bag contains sweets of different colors. One sweet is taken from the bag. This is an event. Here are two possible outcomes. A, a red sweet is taken out. B, a green sweet is taken out. These are mutually exclusive outcomes. They cannot both happen at the same time. That means I cannot take in a red and green in the same time because I have taken only one sweet. So the probability of A and B together equals zero, impossible. So these are mutually exclusive outcomes. Here are two more possible outcomes. A yellow sweet is taken. The sweet taken test of lemons. These are not mutually exclusive outcomes. The, the sweet could be yellow and test of lemons, right? Here we have another example. A wallet contains $5, $10, $20, and $50 notes. One note is taken from the wallet. Here are three possible outcomes. A. An amount of $5 is taken. B. An amount of $10 or less is taken. C. An amount of 20 or more is taken. Which of these pairs of outcomes are mutually exclusive? A. A and B. B. A and C, C, B and C. Let's solve A. A and B are not mutually exclusive. Why? 
because we know that A means a five notes note sorry is taken and B means a five dollars or a ten dollar note is taken because he said in B an amount of ten dollars or less is taken right so five could be taken in either case so A and B are not mutually exclusive B A and C a and C are mutually exclusive. Why? A means a $5 note is taken, right? C means a 20 or 50 note is taken. Because he said in B, so yeah, in B, in C, sorry, an amount of 20 or more is taken. That means 20 or more than 20. We have here more than 20 is $50. So these have nothing in common. So A and C are mutually exclusive. B and C also are mutually exclusive. Why? B means a five or a 10 not is taken. C means a $20 or 50 notes, dollar notes is taken. These have nothing in common so b and c are mutually exclusive now it's your turn to solve we have some questions first i want from you to write one to nine in your copybook 10 seconds for each question for each event write n if they are mutually exclusive or n if they are not mutually exclusive Remember, 10 seconds for each question. Question number one. Winning a football match and losing the same football match. What do you think? Mutually exclusive or not mutually exclusive? 10 seconds only. Excellent. It's mutually exclusive events because it cannot happen in the same time winning and losing the same football match question number two having pizza for tea and having ice cream for pudding what do you think mutually or not mutually exclusive excellent it's not mutually exclusive events question number three getting the bus and missing the bus what do you think these two events can happen together getting the bus and missing the bus in the same time so it's what it's a mutually exclusive event excellent who wants to answer this question? Question number four, being asleep and being awake in the same time. Can these two events happen in the same time? What do you think? Excellent, it's a mutually exclusive event. It cannot happen in the same time. Question number five, rolling a two in a dice and rolling a number less than three. What do you think? These two events can happen together? Excellent. It's not mutually exclusive because these two events can happen together. Because rolling a two in a dice and rolling a number less than three, the numbers is less than three is one and two. So it can happen in the same time. So it's not mutually exclusive events question number six a traffic light being red and the traffic light being green what do you think mutually exclusive events or not can a traffic light being a red and at the same time being green so yes it's a mutually exclu exclusive cannot happen at the same time a baby being a boy 
and the same baby being a girl. What do you think? It can happen in this at the same time? Excellent. It's a mutually exclusive event. It can't happen at the same time. Question number eight. Randomly picking a dog from the pond and the dog being black. What do you think? What's the answer? Excellent. It's N. Why? Because it can be a dog and at the same time it's a black. Question number nine. Going to school at 7 a.m. tomorrow and going to hospital at 7 a.m. tomorrow. What do you think? Mutually exclusive or not mutually exclusive? This is the last question. What do you think? Excellent. It's mutually exclusive because it can't happen at the same time. Going to school and going to the hospital at the same time. Now we have a very important key fact about mutually exclusive events. The probabilities of a mutually exclusive events add to 1. Example, if you roll a dice, the probability of getting a 1 is 1 out of 6 because 1 chance out of 6 chances, right? The probability of getting a 2 is also 1 out of 6. The probability of getting a 3 is 1 out of 6. Getting 4 is 1 out of 6. Getting 5, 1 out of 6. Getting 6 is 1 out of 6. If we add them together, what we will get? 1 out of 6 plus 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 1 out of 6 which is equal 6 out of 6. 6 out of 6 means 1. So the probabilities of mutually exclusive events add to 1. For example, in a survey during walking to school week, all the peoples at Woodsford Academy either cycle, walk, come by bus, or still come in a car. The probabilities they travel each way are cycle 0 0.36, walk 0 0.52, bus we don't know, car 0 0.06. Let's find the probability that the pupils come to school by bus. These events are mutually exclusive, right? So, and we know that the sum of the probabilities of a mutually exclusive events is 1. So, we calculate 1, take away the other probabilities, written as probability of bus equals 1 minus probability of cycle minus probability of walking minus probability of car equals 1 minus 0 0.36 minus 0 0.52 minus 0 0.06 so probability of bus equals 0 0.06 finally did you meet today's learning out objectives identify mutually exclusive events and find missing probabilities of mutually exclusive events